definitely check out, you know, the website of the toy manufacturer. They have matrix and the tech data sheets for all that. Awesome. Troy, I got some other ones. Oh, by the way, your boys, Dave and my guy, Colton, uh, reached out and the tech support number is 866-838-8714. And, uh, to their credit, they said, just so you know, we answer these phones. We're real humans with proven field experience. So, uh, no doubt. Thanks for, for shouting out to your boss. What the phone. Yeah, thanks, was. David. Was awesome. thanks David. I appreciate that, bud. Yep. Uh, give yep. you kudos, man. That was good. Now, Dave, David came from tech and now he's one of our technical trainers. So, you know, he's kind of a little more fresh, you know, I've been, it's been a while since I was in tech, you know, I've been, you know, actually that was the other day. Eight years. It was, that was it the was other David day. David in Gunny? <laughs> no, 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 David in tech support. <laughs> Dave Holden. Thank you for being online, brother. I yeah. appreciate your support and everything you do. That's awesome. Yeah, we appreciate you, man. That's we got too awesome. many Daves. We got too many Daves on our team. What's you guys, you need to change your names. That's it. You all need to change your names. You work it out, but I want name changes on my desk by sometime. Yeah. By the time we come back, everybody has a new needs a new. <laughs> one more Dave's. Oh wait, Dave Garlow's on the line. <laughs> Oops. He can be the only one. There can be only one. Only one Dave. I think he trumps. I think he trumps it all. So I think, I think he right. trumps it all. Yeah. All right. He's the original Dave. So great question. Can I only use rigid tools to get a warranty? No. So Vega warranties their fitting against manufacturer defects, right? We recommend the use of rigid. Why? Because they were designed together, right? They go hand in hand. The jaws were designed to work with Vega. So, but no, if there is a manufacturer's defect with a Vega fitting system, you're covered. It doesn't matter the tool. Now, all the tools, oh, I shouldn't say all, most of the jaws out there from the leading competitors or leading tool manufacturers have what's called witness marks on their jaws. So when we make a press, I can actually do a visual inspection and tell you exactly which jaw you do. Now that jaws are interchangeable, between the you know major tool brands that are on the market, it's hard to tell which tooling platform you use, but I can tell at least what jaw you use, right? So at least there's some consistency there. So there's still gonna be a warranty. The thing is, if it was the tool, right? Let's just say the tool was it was beat up, dropped off a scissor lift, something happened, I don't know. Manufacturer defect to the tool, manufacturer defect to the jaw. When you work with Vega and Rigid hand to hand, right, together, you're going to get a better kind of customer support because if it comes to Vega and we say, Oh, was it Vega's fault? This is the, the tool. Got to go back to X, Y, Z tooling company. Now it's just a bunch of this back and forth. And, and we don't want that. Right. But, but I'll tell you right now, everybody's pretty good about that. The reliability of our fitting system is unbelievable. So you're not going to really run into too many issues when it comes to tooling and, and the tooling guys are going to take care of the tools and, and Vega is going to take care of the fitting. So there's no issues just like a truck with tires, right? Something happens to your check engine light, that's on Ford, right? Something has was your Goodyear tire, it's on Goodyear. So that's kind of how that, that, that works. Awesome, great analogy, Troy, thank you. A uh, really good question came in, will the Rigid C1, the, uh, the ring kit that we were talking about, which I just jumped off camera to get it, uh, will that work with a Milwaukee uh, M12 tool platform, which I actually have one here. It's nice and shiny and new. This was given to me by my local mill rep and really appreciate that. Um, you know, Milwaukee's a great tooling company. Got nothing against them whatsoever. Uh, I'm personally a rigid guy, but you know, we use their tools here as well uh, in the seminar centers. You know, I, I can't control what you use in the field. I can just make recommendations. But yeah, it will absolutely fit in the M12 and it will operate and uh, press. Uh, I'm running it now, I'll get my fingers out of there. <laughs> yep, yeah, definitely keep your fingers out of jaws. I don't care whose tool it is. Uh, so yeah, absolutely. You can do that. So, okay. So, uh, let's see, Troy. Uh, another question is a half and three quarter inch mega press jaws are available for the M12 tool, uh, as well as the rigid compact tools. Do you know if a one inch mega press jaw is coming for that tool? Uh, it is, it is coming. I always hate giving launch dates. I don't care whose product it is. I don't like launch dates, especially right now with everything going on with the pandemic globally and, you know, COVID-19. So, uh, launch dates could be delayed, but yes, currently right now, uh, rigid offers a half and three quarter inch compact mega press jaw, and they have a one inch jaw on the way. Um, I would love it today. They, they advertised it in some of the trade shows in January before we all went on lockdown. Um, so it, it is coming. It is on the way. You will see a half, three-quarter, and one-inch uh, Megapress compact jaw soon. 
Okay, great. So <clears throat> uh, if the booster is a double press, does that still count as two of my 42,000 presses? And yes, it does. It does count. However, the third trigger press, when you release the tool, uh, does not. So that's just to pop the tool free. Uh, but the two presses do count to that. So do keep that in mind. Yes. All right. We've got some more questions, Troy. Nice. I love it. This is great. Yeah. So <clears throat> oh, this is a, you know, we always get these questions that blow up the internet. All right. So what do you say to those who say this kills the trades, takes the skill I, I, out of the trades? Come on, Troy. I know you love this. I, I'm down. I, I, love, I love this question, man. It's great. Um, at the end of the day, so, you know, Bo and I are both licensed uh, plumbers, gas fitters, pipe fitters, all that stuff. And at the end of the day, when I was in school, when I was in the apprenticeship program like that, now different from our grandfather's days, back in the day, they had to literally wipe a lead joint, uh, pour a lead joint. And the joining method was the actual kind of, let's say, test, so to speak, right, of, of how you did that. So, Really, at the end of the day, that's where this question stems from because that was the kind of mentality of like, this is the skill, right? Uh, I'm sure our grandfathers felt the same way when they went from pouring lead joints to, to doing CPVC, right? So in gluing joints together, I'm sure they felt the same exact way. But it's still a skill with anything. You have to know all joining methods. Uh, you know, we actually teach trade school kids uh, at VGAT, both of our seminar centers, and we teach them how to solder, thread, groove, mega press, pro press. We teach about a braze. That's because you've got to know every joining method. And that's not necessarily the, the skill. There's an art to it, of course, but putting our system together, there's still a skill. People get lazy, right? But to keep it plumb, level, straight, looking good, you've got to know some tips and tricks to that. Uh, so stay tuned for some other episodes that we have and some credential webinars that we've been doing uh, since lockdown. And we'll teach you all that stuff. But you've got to know why you do the things you do. Right? As a plumber, I got to know the code book inside and out. I got to know why I'm applying the things I'm applying for the safety right, of a nation. Right? We always say that the plumber protects the safety of the nation, right? the health and safety. And, that, and that's the pride part, designing, laying it out, knowing why you're doing the things you do. And then the joining method is a way to allow you to be efficient and to be effective, all that kind of stuff. So if you prefer, you know, hey, for an instance, I have to solder here for some reason because maybe there's not a press fitting for it. Right? I always joke and say, hey, I had to keep you know, my torch on the truck, because if I was doing a slow flush valve, I had to sweat that small bushing on there, right? Because we can't press that bushing and we don't make one. Everything else was pro press, but I still had to sweat that one adapter. So yes, you should know every joining method. I do not believe press takes a skill out. I take pride in my work, heavy, do a great job. Um, so no, it doesn't take the skill out. You need to know everything. And this is just a new innovative way. And believe it or not, it's a small market share right now. It's growing. It's been growing since we've been here in 1999. But there's still a lot of people using traditional methods. But with the safety and burn permits and fire watches, things like that, and you know, Massachusetts and New England, their the PhDC with hot work certificate, just to go pull a burn permit. I need to go sit through a class now as a licensed plumber to get a hot work certificate to then have that on hand, to have the burn permit, to do the fire watch. And I get it. It's a necessary evil for safety. Well, press just alleviated that headache for me and all that stress and extra money and now save me time and money. So to me, it's the safety, the reliability. Um, I can make more money, do more volume, do more work. So no, I think it's a fantastic product. Awesome. So uh, one question came in, is three inch Megapress G available? Actually, we have Megapress G available for sale today up to four inch. So you can press on gas lines currently in the United States, not yet available in Canada not yet approved in Canada. Um, they're working on that. It's a little, little slower moving boat up there. They're harmonized up there. So everybody's got to get on the same page. It's all good. It'll get there. But yeah, in the United States, we are approved. We have our LC4, uh, our CSA listing. You can press on gas lines up to four inch with Megapress G. So yeah, we got it. So absolutely. Uh, so I'm getting a lot of questions about like what's in the special pile over here. <laughs> Actually, nice. I'm getting a lot of questions that have to do with what's in the special pile over here. All right, all right. I'm going to just, you know, hit a couple of those. And while I get ready, um, so I just uh, want to chuck a few uh, uh, questions at you here. 
on the jaw warranty. So I got a question about the warranty on the jaws and this uh, individual, Steve Taylor, shout out to Steve, said he's had some break over the years. And I'm just going to say before Troy addresses this, if you've had jaws break, you've been doing this a long time. So thank you, because that meant you started out with Vega in the very beginning, because we were first to this party. We started this party here in the United States. And so thank you for being in, uh, with us for so long. Uh, and I'll let you handle the warranty question. I'm going to get off camera and, and get these things going. Absolutely. Um, with rigid warranties, they have their uh, you know limited lifetime warranty on their products. Now, now the jaws when you when you talk about how to break, you know, to Bo's point, it's engineered to do that. So the plate itself. So I have a jaw right here. So the plate right here. This plate. This is actually engineered to split and crack at that rivet that holds this all together because the force of that tool as it's coming up against the jaw, there's a lot of force. So there had to be an engineered, let's say weak point, something it's gonna give, because if something didn't give, you could have a catastrophic failure. So it's actually designed to do that. So when you see your jaws break, that means you have done thousands of presses. Now, there's, no, there's nothing in writing in a manual, rigid or Vega, that says how many presses this jaw is actually going to do before that breakage occurs. Because what we have found is that depending on how well you take care of your jaws, you know, if you, you know, we put gun oil, we're in New England, so I'm in New Hampshire, live free or die. I, I would use gun oil all over the jaw so it would stay nice and clean and water would just hit it and beat off in it and not rust it or rot it out or anything like that, right? If you're not using it as a hammer, not just tossing around. If you're actually keeping your jaws nice and clean and good, you know, respecting the tool, we've seen the tools go in for recalibration with the original jaw set still ready to rock, not split, not crack, nothing like that, still in good working condition. So um, if you do have any, let's say, premature failures, definitely get with Rigid. I haven't really seen stuff like that. I've maybe a couple, you know, and, and Rigid took care of it. So a great company. So just get with them if you have anything. But I'm going to tell you right now, when it breaks, you've done thousands of presses. So great job. Keep pressing thousands and thousands of fittings. I love it. That's awesome, Troy. The, uh, the gun oil analogy, Hoppy's <laughs> number nine is like Chanel number five in New Hampshire. So <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. <laughs>